Hey, what is up guys, it's Borag Sugar, and today we are going to be playing some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Modded Zombies on some Christmas Crash. I'm super hyped about this, uh, I love Christmas Crash. I love Crash to begin with, but Christmas Crash just has so much nostalgia points for me, because uh, Christmas is a good time, Modern Warfare Remastered was a great time, so uh, today we're going to be playing some World War II uh, gun game. And I have it set to normal and pack a punch weapons. So first we're gonna get the normal variation of a weapon, and then the pack a punch variation. So we have 142 weapons. I know that is a lot, and I have spoiled myself with this mod because I've already played this mod. Last night out of pure boredom, after I finished editing uh, yesterday's video, I decided to play a whole bunch. Of this map so I know where quite a few things are there is a Bible ending it's really cheap to be honest uh, but we're not here for that we are just here to go through the weapons and see what's up what I will be doing though is there's like these hats on the ground I know where all of them are we're just gonna go ahead and do all of these and I'll show you where the Bible ending is and how much it is just so by technicality we could say that we completed the map even though I'm not gonna be completing it free perk Oh yeah, super useful, mule kick. Yep, especially in a gun game. We get another free perk. Electric cherry. Alright, we got Juggernog now. So we're just gonna do the different hats. We'll finish all those up. And then uh, I'll show you where the Bible ending is, and then we'll just continue on with however many weapons we have left. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot. Also, as you could probably tell, I did start the game on round 5, just because those lower rounds seem to be a little bit too much, and I didn't want to start on round 10, uh, just because I felt like with how many weapons we have, uh, we'd probably be going for a very long time. Oh, we got a hat right in the middle, so that could be very helpful. Surprised that didn't do it. All it is is a fire cell. That kind of sucks. Okay, we were promoted, and I don't know what this is. Press X to use my special ability. I think it just gave me the annihilator. Then we have hats all throughout this building. Okay, nice. Okay, not going so smooth anymore. Can't see anything with this. Okay. Uh, we do still have one more hat out here, and... Oh, we have this one as well, but there is that hat also. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the YouTube channel You Always Win, but uh, that's a channel I've been watching for quite a while now, and they are actually the makers of this map, which is really cool, because... I haven't watched them since probably like 27, 20, 2017 maybe. So uh, it's really cool to play a map that's actually by somebody that I've been watching for a long time. Um, I do think this is one of their earlier maps because it's not super like developed or anything. And it's got a super cheap viable ending so I would assume it's probably in like the, the younger stages of mod making. There we go. Oh, we'll be taking that for sure. Almost got boxed in right there. Okay, this is... We're already demoted. I fucking hate when that happens. I do not like the early demotes. Oh, well, we're not taking that. Just bang, bang. There we go. 
This is much better. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit this up real quick. Uh-oh. Well, this is bad, isn't it? Well, I am glad that I grabbed Speed Cola, I guess. So now doing these two is going to be a lot harder because we have another open pathway. Just want to make sure that I have the maximum amount, amount of shots as possible. Alright, we got another shotgun. Okay, we're getting a little stuck. We might just go up this way. Great job, find and claim your reward. It's literally just a shield. Another perk, we got Deadshot Daiquiri, the most necessary perk of all time for mouse and keyboard players. I did see Widow's Wine up there, I do want to grab it. I'll just grab it when we're up there. We're not going to be taking that. And unfortunately we have another double barrel shoddy, so this is going to be awful. Luckily, we got out of that pretty quickly. Only two zombies left. And uh, this is the escape right here. It's only 27, uh, 520, so pretty easy, pretty easy. We won't be taking it, though, just because, you know, it's not what we're here for. Okay, here's my reward. Can I actually press 2 to equip shield? No, I can't. The limitations of gun game. But then again, of course, that would be cheating, probably. Bazooka. This is where PhD flopper would be incredible. Forgot that you could literally just shoot these things from the hip. Shrek's pants. Shrek's pants. Let's go. Let's just buy Quick Revive for the fuck of it. Alright, we got an actual... Weapon, a submachine gun. I'm going to be honest, I didn't play the second half of World War II because the first half was pretty trash, so if this is a DLC weapon, I wouldn't know. And there's the big guy again. Unfortunately, they do spawn like a million of those guys, so that is something we're going to be constantly dealing with. Oh, PhD! That'll be very helpful. Especially against the big guys. I wonder if that counted as a promotion or just, uh, just making the current weapon pack a punch. Oh no, that was a, a promotion, technically. So that's good to know. I don't know how uh, often they spawn those guys, but uh, they are very annoying because when they do spawn them in, they seem to spawn in an infinite amount. Now we have two of them. I don't know what the thought was behind spawning a million of these guys. Man, they had some pretty cool weapons in uh, World War II, I can't lie. Like, I don't know what this is, but it has the cleanest iron sights of all time. Oh, and the Thompson, too. I forgot how clean these sights were. We are mowing through these. Another one gone. And another one gone. This appears to be the same exact weapon as we had earlier, the PPSH, except with a lot less ammo. 
This is probably one of the more basic maps, but it's extremely aesthetically pleasing. But that's mostly because of my own bias towards Christmas Crash that I really love this map. Um, I think uh, Modern Warfare Remasters Christmas Crash came out around the time when iDubs and uh, Leafy is here were going back and forth. So it just kind of... That sucks. So it just kind of gives me this feeling of like, um, I don't know, joy, because there was so much shit going on back then and it was, it was just a good time on YouTube. We got the MP40, everybody knows about this. I've seen some footage of uh, Vanguard from a lot of the, you know, the content creators who have been playing, and this gun seems to be a little outrageous. Alright, now we've got explosive tips on our, on our guns. Oh yeah, that thing is monstrum. strategies I really like this snail perk I, I've never heard of it before but I did get it in yesterday's video and it seems to be doing really good like I think uh, I think what it does is every time a zombie gets really close to me they just get slowed down it's kind of crazy to me how many weapons from Call of Duty World War 2 I actually don't know the only ones that I've known thus far are like the the PPSH the Sten the other one that looks like the Sten <laughs> And a couple of others. For the most part, I don't recognize a lot of these. The AS-44, I don't know what this is. This thing hits like a truck, it's just got some really high recoil, but that's expected. Okay, I know this weapon, the FG-42, this is one of the base weapons. I remember it was pretty good, actually. It wasn't as good as the bar of the STG, but it, it was doing numbers. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I got the free pack a bunch, and when I promoted, I stayed on the pack a bunch weapon. So that must have just been something weird earlier that uh, I just didn't pay attention enough to. All right, we are now on to snipers. Okay, this car is not doing very much, which has me concerned for when we get more sniper rifles. There we go. See what we got. Oh, we are at the perk limit. Okay, obviously I recognize this weapon. Um, I know that right now, well not right now because the beta for the content creators is over. I know that this weapon is not currently in the build for um, Vanguard, but it could come back as a as a weapon in the actual game and it's just not shown in the beta. I'm gonna be honest, this is a pretty forgettable weapon, so if it's not actually in the game, I'm totally cool with it. The Type 5, I don't know what this is. We got the M1 Grand with its gigantic ping. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Only for the ping. If this gun didn't have a ping, it'd be pretty shit. Okay, I know absolutely nothing about this weapon, at all. The bar? Oh no, this isn't the bar. The KM, the KG M21. It sounds and looks a lot like the bar. The iron sight's definitely not though. Looks like the bar's bigger brother. Okay, this looks to be semi-auto. Yep. Oh, it's the SVT! I know the SVT. Okay. Oh yeah, it's the sights that I love. With the weird reticle. Okay, now we've got the bar. We're just gonna... Aw, oh, I was gonna grab that and just kill him with it. Cause why not? Whoops. I've been trying not to slide, because I don't want to kill too many zombies with that. Wait, is this full auto and I'm just trying to use a semi-auto? Oh yeah, it is. This is a weird STG. There we go. 
Um, we'll take that. We have one zombie left. Thank you, get the fuck out, please. Okay, we got 41 weapons left, so that means that we have already burned through 100 of them. So, uh... I don't know what to say. That's great, I guess. I hope they don't give me another sniper <laughs> immediately after this. I could use a break. Nice. Okay, did not know that that thing was going to be burst, because I don't know anything about this. The actual STG. Oh yeah, this double points is really helping us, and I'm about to throw it away. Yikes. The M1941. I do know this weapon. We got the Gavar. This is one of the first DLC weapons. If I'm correct. Go away. Why do you gotta be here all the time? <clears throat> this is another one of the first DLC weapons, I think. Oh no. So right before that round started, we were at 41 weapons left. We are now at 30. If we keep up the pace, we've got three more rounds left. Version before I even start shooting at that guy. Okay. Let's go right on. There we go. There we go. I've been promoted, but it didn't even... It didn't even do the swap weapon animation, I like that. Very smooth. Very, very smooth. Free perk. Doesn't even matter, though. We got a car 98 on an insta-kill. I'll take use of that. Uh, not another sniper. For a second, I was shooting two bullets at a time. Oh yeah, there we go. On to some machine guns. Whoops. Alright, we started the round with 30. We ended it with 17. So that's a total of 13 weapons we went through. That's pretty good. I just love that in Black Ops 3, even when your weapon isn't pack-a-punched, on round 31 it's still doing something. At least it's doing something, you know? Oh man, we are burning through this. That double points is doing a lot. Nope, don't want that. Don't want that. You're wasting my double points. Go away. There we go. And we're about to win this game. Would you look at that? We won the game. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I do have a lot more maps that I do want to do. I've got a... The Simpsons, I got the Family Guy, I don't know why I put the in front of that. We've got The Futurama, 
And we just played Winter Crash. I'm going to go for more. I tried to do Nuketown Zombies last night just to see if the you know everything was running smoothly. And Nuketown, with the gun game mods that I have, ended up crashing just about every time. So we won't be playing that, but maybe we'll play it uh, not on gun game one of these days. If you guys did enjoy, like I said previously, but for some reason I'm going to say it again, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.